Um, I did a post recently about how I was moving away at the beginning of September and thank you all for those wonderful replies that you gave and shows of support. I know that it's not quitting but some days it, it it feels like retreat anyway. I just have to do what I have to do right now to make sure that I get my books written and and I think everybody wants that and so that's wonderful. But I've been trying to understand anytime I feel a lot of feels, I try to understand why. I'm not generally a cry on the spot kind of person and the last couple days is, has felt a bit like that. So I, I've been working on two books simultaneously right now one of them is the sequel to The Archive, which is just incredibly exciting and terrifying because it is in a first draft form. And the other one is my adult book, Vicious, and I just turned in the last round of revisions on that yesterday, which means that it's going to go off to copy edits. And it should have been this day of like immense celebration. It, it's copy, like you have survived not only writing but editing a book and that in and of itself is this wonderful thing and yet I had this this horrible sadness all day yesterday and I, what I think it is is that because I don't think I've explained much about this online yet about Vicious. Vicious, the adult book, is a book that I wrote over the course of two years in between rounds of the archive. So I first started concepting it before I wrote the archive and then I would go back to it every time I had a month or two off. It was something safe in that nobody knew about it. Uh, there was no level of expectation and I was just writing this thing, this strange little monster that made me so incredibly happy. It was like it was everything I wanted to to do and thought I probably couldn't get away with and so I wrote it for myself about a year and a half, two years after I had started writing it. And when I say it took two years to write, it's because I would write half the book and I would trash it and I would write half the book and I would realize I wanted to change a major element of the world building and I would write half the book. I mean, this was a process of like, I tore it apart because I had the time <laughs> and the energy and no one was watching to see how bad I would make it and then it didn't matter it was this it was freeing it was freeing and then I loved the book on top of it so it was a process but for two years it was mine and then it did sell and it sold to the most amazing editor and we had the most amazing journey working on it and again it was this kind of salvation it was this this thing that I would go back to when I was feeling down about anything else and it would pick me up vicious has always it's funny to have a book with that title have that effect on you, but it has always been um, a lifesaver, a buoy. It's been something that has kept me afloat. And then when I finished it yesterday and it got turned in, it was like a very beautiful chapter in my life had ended. And I know that sounds, it sounds really, really silly because it should be this day of immense celebration but it felt like like I, I was done with that. And it was like a relationship ending. And I realized that it's not. I realized that it's a relationship changing. But to me, it felt like I, I wasn't ever going to be able to go back to that book in the same way. And it was just to have something be what that book was to me for that long. It, it was like a really, obviously, it was a really, really sad thing to let it go. And I'm so excited to share that experience with other people, but I wasn't, I wasn't ready to give up what the book was just to me. So, and obviously, I am a writer. My job is to go on and find another book and find that experience. And it's why I always keep a secret book. It's why I always keep one that I don't tell people about while I'm writing it in addition to the books that I have under contract because I have to have that that retreat and then that safe space but I there's never gonna be another book like Vicious for me. It was a very sad day in that respect and I think when you just add that that strange sense of loss to the sense of loss in that I'm moving and I'm leaving friends and and people who have become like family it's just it was a lot of loss. Writing books is so emotional. It is always emotional. It should be emotional. And then to have two books at such 
different places in the middle of the first draft, which writers out there know is like the go ahead and just scream. I said I was going to write a song to being in the middle of the first draft and it was just going to sound like me banging my head against the table repeatedly because that's how it feels. So having that kind of emotional core of like self-doubt, self-loathing and like what am I doing, why am I doing this, why am I not just working as a dog daycare attendant, which I've done. Having that and then having the the ending of something that you have loved so much and having those at the same time, it's been a rough few days and I wanted I wanted to talk a little bit about why. Books come in all forms. I don't think any two books affect a person the same way. So, Vicious, it's the end of one chapter and the beginning of it the next for that book and for me, but oh, it was hard. It was hard to say goodbye to that one. And of course I totally forgot on a happier note. Um, this is another one of the reasons I feel feels. God, there are so many feels. Um, then today marks the one year anniversary for The Near Witch. It hit shelves August 2nd. I cannot handle the fact it's August. But it hit shelves August 2nd, 2011. So all the feels. 